Coming up on LUTV News, thousands of locals head to downtown St. Louis to receive their COVID-19 vaccine. Plus, Main Street in St. Charles has added another event to the calendar. Find out how the community was involved. And, Linenwood announced plans to return to on-ground courses in the fall. Students had a chance to reflect on what school was like during the pandemic. We have their opinions on virtual learning. Those stories and more ahead on LUTV News. Welcome to this edition of LUTV News. I'm Jordan Deacon. The St. Louis Health Department is hosting a vaccine drive for local citizens. LUTV reporter David Bradford got his shot and experienced the event firsthand. The city has multiple opportunities for you to get your vaccine. For more information or to register for the COVID vaccine, visit stlouis-mo.gov. The first ever Main Street egg hunt included something for everyone to enjoy. I experienced the event firsthand and had an opportunity to find out how it got started. St. Charles Main Street holds many events for the community to come out and meet. This brand new event, the Main Street egg hunt, allows all families to experience a long lived tradition in many times. Well, it seems like there's a lot of people that came down purposely for the event, so I think right there that you can tell that it's it's a success because it actually attracted people to come down in the first place. We have a merchants group where we share ideas and the first thing I did was ask if people were interested in doing this and there was an overwhelming response of people that wanted to take part in the event itself. We're hoping, as with any event we put on the street, the first time through is always a little rough because you learn a lot of, of new things. So it seems um, so far that people are really enjoying it and that it's an, a success. And 
the fact that there's something in the eggs that is good for the adult shoppers um, as well as candy for the kids I think there um, it reinforces that this is a family event and so there is something for everybody. On this beautiful Saturday morning, kids and families are able to come out and experience an Easter tradition. The joy on the kids' faces and the coupons in the parents' pockets make it an enjoyable event for all. With the success of this first year, Main Street is hoping to make this an annual event. For LUTV News, I'm Jordan Deacon. Business owners on Main Street try to hold monthly events for visitors. You can check out their calendar at discoverstcharles.com. Straight ahead on LUTV News. It has been a difficult year for student organizations at Lindenwood, but members of Greek Life have still managed to push through and make the most of the unique circumstances. Find out how when we come back. Lindenwood has announced that dining and classes will continue as it did before the pandemic for the upcoming fall semester. Reporter Justin Gonzalez had a chance to talk to some students about their virtual learning experience. Lindenwood University has been under the online The transition has been pretty smooth, but um it's very, it's pretty easy. It's very easy to fall behind because you know you don't have somebody reminding you every class period that something's due the next period. But other than that, it's been good. I had mixed feelings about this uh, whole online experience just because some classes I had professors that were kind of just giving me assignments and uh, just giving me the material and telling me to figure it out. They should allow some students to go in class and um, just because everybody's different so like some people are used to some people can get by with learning through a computer but other people have to sit down in class and be engaged with the professor I'd probably say the have the professors like send out more reminders because um, you know like I was saying you know you don't have you're not 
necessarily every time you go to another class period you know you're reminded oh well just a heads up you know this is the next class period we have an exam or next we have a quiz or something like that while the online classes were rough there is hope and optimism around the lindenwood campus for LUTV news i'm justin gonzalez fraternity and sorority life at lindenwood is just one of the many areas that have been affected by the pandemic but as time has gone on they both have found ways to get through it Reporter Dominic Hosher has the story. Over the past year, student organizations all across Lindenwood have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. That has brought numerous challenges to each organization, including fraternity and sorority life, who have had to have multiple challenges to overcome. But scheduling events and all of that uh, was very difficult uh, with having to make sure that we had all of the room limits met and that making sure everybody was having masks and everybody was accounted for that showed up to events. So it was very stressful, but at the end of the day, we made sure to stay as safe as possible, um, but still made sure that uh, we were following all the protocols. In the movie, the comedy, and like, there's there so many good actors. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Okay, go, <laughs> a lot of social distance events, um, whether it's going down to our chapter room and hanging out um, and stuff like that with the group. So we, we managed, you know, it's been tough, but uh, we managed to, to stay pretty close. My experience as a whole was okay. I hope others kind of experienced the same thing, um, but I look forward to there being less COVID restrictions or precautions. I think it'll make it a much better environment to uh, gather new students that are interested in the Greek life in FSL. I think the main thing is that we all learn to value events and just people overall. I feel like next year with all the events that are, are going to go back to normal, we're actually going to see it as a like, we are going to value it more. To find out more regarding Greek life at Linenwood, go to linenwood.edu and search Fraternity and Sorority Life. Straight ahead on LUTV News, St. Louis Recess is re-emerging as a new venue in St. Charles. Find out what they have to offer when we come back.
A new place for adults to play games and hang out has surfaced in St. Charles. Reporter Ben Kaiser visited the location to find out what it's all about. Rec Hall has a variety of different games. We have Jumbo Beer Pong, we have Jumbo Jenga, um, more interactive team sport games that everyone can play and there's really no true skill to it. So it's fun to watch your friends play and mess up or do really well. I also handle the public events, which we do meet bingo every Wednesday, which you literally win meet, which is very fun. Um, we also do Bar Olympics on Thursdays. So that's a fun one. It's teams of two. Each month we get different sponsors. So this month in April will be sponsored by Four Hands. The one big event we have coming up is April 17th. We're doing the Underachievers Run. And it is exactly what you think. Just a fun play off of a sort of marathon esque. Um, you come in, you get pizza, donuts, champagne, you pretty much just walk a 0.5K um, and then do a bunch of drinking and celebrating and hanging out. So um, we're really excited about that one. The Underachievers Run is on April 17th and signups are from noon to 5 p.m. For more events, check out their Facebook and Instagram and search for Rec Hall STL or visit the site on your screen. That's it for this edition of LUTV News. I'm Jordan Deacon. Thanks for joining us.